Hey guys, Mr. Relatable here. This is going to be part two of my making the perfect 1v1 series. And in this episode, we're going to be going over how to make a loadout selector for your 1v1 map. Just to note, you do not need to watch part one to understand how to do this. However, your channels might differ a little bit than what I'm showcasing in this video. But if you just want to follow along and use the same channels that I'll be using, it'll work perfectly fine for you. With that out of the way, though, let's just get right into the video. So as I stated in the intro, this will be part two, and if you have not watched part one and want to know how to set up an auto start system as well as a reset button, you can go and check that out. Link will be in the description. One thing that you should note though is that if you have not followed part one, your channels might be slightly different. As you can see here, if I go to the channel browser, we've already used all the way up to channel seven. So in this video, we are going to be starting off at channel 10 just for simplicity's sake. With that out of the way though, let's get right into how to make this. To start this video off, we're going to be making our item spawners. The first thing that you wanna do is go to the creative menu and go to the devices tab. Next, type in the word item spawner and you should see something that looks a little bit like this. Grab it and place it on down and hit E to customize or whatever it is on console. Make sure that you go over to the all options tab. It's this little four bars that you see up at the top here. And now we're going to change one of many settings. Visible during games, this is personal preference. You're more than welcome to have this on, on or off. However, I prefer off. That just simply means that this physical device, the circle will not be visible. Time before first spawn, put this onto instant. Time between spawns on instant as well. And scroll all the way down until you see cycle to next item when receiving from. Put this onto channel 10. Now we're simply going to pick up the device and move it a little bit over. Make sure that there's enough gap between the two uh, spawners as what we are going to be doing is grabbing weapons and placing them on it. So for example, if I was to grab a hand cannon and I was to drop it right here, we wanna make sure that this one over here would not suck it up on accident. Anyways, go into the second item spawner and go over to the modified options tab, signified by the asterisk at the top. Change cycle to next item when receiving from to channel 11. Simply copy this, move it on over yet again, put this to channel 12, copy it, move it on over, channel 13, once again, move it on over, channel 14. So what these signify is our inventory slots. So this would be our first inventory slot, second inventory, third, fourth, fifth. So for example, if you only wanted three inventory slots, you can simply delete these last two. However, for the sake of the video, I'm going to be doing all five. And that's all you need to do for the item spawners for now. Next up here, we're going to be setting up buttons that allow you to shift through each of the inventory slots. For example, if I press this button right here that we are going to be setting up, it's going to change whatever item is displayed in this item spawner. What you're going to want to do is go to the creative menu, go to devices, and type in the word button. You should see something that looks like this. Pick one up and just place it on down wherever you wish. Hit E to customize on it, go to the all options tab yet again, and scroll all the way down to the bottom until you see when interacted with transmit on. We're going to want to put this onto channel 10. Just like before, we're going to pick it up and move it on over, and we're going to go to the Modified Options tab and change the channel. This one's going to be channel 11. Pick it up, move it on over, channel 12, move it on over, channel 13, move it on over once again, channel 14. So these are our five buttons that it will allow the player to cycle through whatever they want. So for example, if we had assault rifles in this first one, we can press the button and it will cycle through different assault rifles so the player can get exactly what they want. Next, we need a button that actually grants the player the specific inventory that they have set up. So simply grab one of the buttons and just place it wherever you want. I'm just going to be putting it here like so. And now hit E to customize on this button and change the channel to channel 15. And that's all you need to set up for the buttons at this time. After you have all the buttons and item spawners set up, believe it or not, you're actually almost finished. Next, we are going to be setting up item granters. Quite different from item spawners, so make sure that you grab the right one. It's this little copper pot looking thing. After you grab it, place it on down like we have with everything and hit E to customize. Make sure that you're on the all options tab and try to pay attention to the best of your ability because some of the channels and settings are going to get a little confusing for these. Firstly, Grant on cycle, right down here, make sure that this is on no. Equip granted item, first item. Give extra ammo, put this on to no. Cycle behavior, wrap. 
and then scroll on down until you see grant item when receiving from. Put this onto channel 15. Cycle to next item when receiving from. Put this onto channel 10. And then one item granted transmit on to 16. I'm going to be going over to the modified options tab so you can look through all of these to make sure that they are the exact same as mine. So it should be no, first item, no, wrap, channel 15, channel 10, channel 16. After you do that, hit OK, pick it up, move it on over a little bit, and put it on down. Hit E to customize, and go back over to the all options tab. What you need to change for this one is on grant action, make sure that this is on keep all, and then if you scroll all the way down, actually, before we scroll down, make sure that equip granted item is on second item. Now we're gonna scroll all the way down until you see the channels. All you're going to wanna do for these are just increment every single channel by one. So channel 15 goes to channel 16, 10 goes to 11, 16 goes to 17. And this is what it should look like when I go over to the modified options tab. Should see keep all, no, second item, no, wrap, 16, 11, 17. Once again, pick it up, move it on over, hit E to customize. However, this time, all we can do is stay in the modified options tab. Equip granted item goes up to third item. 16 goes up to 17, 11 goes up to 12, and 17 goes up to 18. Hit OK. Once again, pick it up, move it on over. Same thing. Third item goes to fourth item. 17 goes to 18, 12 goes to 13, and 18 goes to 19. Pick it up one last time, and this is our final one. Fourth goes to fifth, 18 goes to 19, 13 goes to 14, and 19 goes to nothing, actually. After those are set up, you are done with your item granters. Now we get on to the fun part. Once you have everything set up thus far, now we are getting into making each of these little item spawners and item granters have items actually in them. As I explained earlier, this will be our first slot in our inventory. This will be our second, third, fourth, and fifth. So now we need to set up items that kind of correspond to that. For the sake of the video, I'm not going to be doing a ton of weapons in each slot. However, you can do as many as you wish. So for this first slot, I'm going to be doing a scar, a AK, and a burst assault rifle. So we have these three items and we're going to want to place them in the order that we want them to be. So for example, we want the scar to be the first item that is there. And then when we hit the button, it's going to swap to the AK. And then when we hit the button again, it is going to swap to the uh, burst assault rifle. And then when we hit the button again, it'll go back to the scar. We need to do the exact same thing for our first item granter right over here. So we are going to go once again, scar, AK, first assault rifle and place them in in that exact same order as i said you're more than welcome to do as many guns as you want but for the sake of the video i'm only going to be doing these three i'm going to start up the game now so you can see what's happening so we have set up our first one which is our first slot in our inventory so that's the scar if we hit this button right here this button is going to give us the inventory that we have listed and as, as we only have the one item for now, it is only going to give us our scar, and that is in the first inventory slot. Now, if we hit this button, let's say we want to cycle it to the first assault rifle as shown right here. Now we can hit the button, and as you can see, it gives us the burst assault rifle. Now, what happens if we cycle back to the front and we go back to the AK? Now, if we come over here and hit this button, you'll notice that'll give us the AK or the heavy assault rifle. And that's what we are going to be doing for every single one of these buttons as shown here. If I just end the game now, return to island, we will go to our second slot. Fly on over. And for our second item spawner, we want, let's say, shotguns. So let's do the combat shotgun, tack assault, or tack shotgun, excuse me, dragon's breath, double barrel, and then the pump. So we'll do all of these, all five of these. What you want to do is once again, place them in the order that you want them. So it's going to be combat, pack, dragon, double barrel, and then a pump. So we're going to go back to the creative menu and grab what we had again. So it was combat, tack, dragon, double barrel, and pump. 
Now we go over to our second item spawner that we have here, or item grantor, excuse me, and place them in, in that same order. Combat, attack, dragon, double, bump. And it is all sucked up like that. So we can hit start game now and you can see what happens. If we come on back over, we can see that our first weapon is a scar followed by a combat. So if we hit this button, we get a scar followed by a combat. Now, if we change our loadout, let's say we want a burst and maybe we want the pump. So we get the burst and the pump, interact, burst and the pump. Once again, we can cycle back through. Maybe we want the dragon's breath and the, let's just do the AK or heavy assault rifle. Once again, hit the button, AK and the dragon's breath. So yeah, that is how you are going to be setting up this. For the third one, you would just do the exact same thing. So if you wanted SMGs or snipers, you would just put them in there and over there again. Then the consumables, two consumables, whatever you want, or really anything for that matter. It doesn't even have to be consumables. You can put in whatever guns that you want. Just remember that they correspond to each of the inventory slots that you have set up here. But that is going to be it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure that you are subscribed as in the next part, we are going to be going over how to make some fun settings such as a background selector, music selector, and so on and so forth. But with that out of the way, I wanted to thank you guys all for watching and I hope to see you all in the next one.